October 19th. Today we celebrate the memory of St. John of Kronstadt. St. John was a married priest who lived with his wife in virginity. Through his untiring labours in his priestly duties and his love for the poor and the sinners, he was granted by our Lord great gifts of clairvoyance and miracle working, to such a degree that in the last years of his life miracles of healings, both of body and of soul, were performed countless times each day through his prayers, often for people who had only written to him asking his help. During his lifetime he was known throughout Russia as well as in the Western world. He has left us his journal, My Life in Christ, as a spiritual treasure for Christians of every age. Simple in language, it expounds the deepest mysteries of our faith with that wisdom which is given only to a heart purified by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Foreseeing as a true prophet the revolution of 1917, he unsparingly rebuked the growing apostasy among the people. He foretold that the very name of Russia would be changed. As the darkness of unbelief grew thicker, he shone forth as a beacon of unquenchable piety, comforting the faithful through the many miracles that he worked and the fatherly love and simplicity with which he received all. St. John reposed in peace in 1908. to thee, O heavenly King, O comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now for the Unto them that hope for aid from thee, O Father John of Kronstadt, our beloved Shepherd. The charioteer Pharaoh was sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross's form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led unto safety, sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thy goodness fills me with courage, sinner that I am, to lift up my voice. Thy kindness amazes, for thou grantest even unto me to sing thy praise, O Father John. 
As a friend of that shepherd who ate with sinners and publicans, thou receivest all with unbounded love. Holy Father Joan, pray to God for us. Thine ears were open unto all, thy heart contained all men with mercy and love. Thou gavest so freely and so cheerfully that God put kingly riches in thy hands, which thou gavest completely, while holding back nothing for thyself, since thy master's love was all things to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As thou dost lift thy hands in ardent prayer to God, and every suffering ceased, we pray thee, O Father, intercede with God for us, and turn our mourning into joy. For the boldness in prayer that thou hadst on earth is yet greater now, since thou hast been crowned by the hand of Christ. Both now and forever to the ages of ages, amen. Between our Maker and us men there stood a bridgeless and immeasurable gulf until the division that no man or even angel crossed was ended in thy womb. When, O Virgin, the Most High was born, a man and came forth to us, speaking face to face as a friend with friends. Of the vault of the heavens are thou, O Lord, fashioner, so too of the church are thou, founder. Do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, and staff of the faithful, O thou, only friend of man. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. O adornment and glory of sacred priests of the Lord, Thou didst serve his altar by offering him as the sacrifice, and in the midst of man, on thy heart's mystical altar, thou didst ever offer thy prayers for the suffering world. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. If thou slept so little while in the flesh on the earth, how much less now that thou dost stand with joy of the throne of God, with thine unsleeping prayer, and never shamed intercession, heal our souls and bodies, and save us, O Father John. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. An implacable enemy unto all idleness, thou didst raise up houses to furnish work for the destitute. But as for me, O John, who live without heed and idol, rouse me up to labor aright, while it yet is day. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let thine infinite kindness come down to find even me. Let thy mighty grace of salvation cover my nakedness. Disperse the mist of sin wherewith my mind is benighted. And, O Virgin Mother, with hymns I shall honor thee. The prophets have received him that spoke as a prophet. The martyrs welcome him that was crucified daily. The unmercenaries him that did freely receive and give. Every choir of saints him that strove after their virtue. And the Lord himself, whose name was praised through his servant, doth glorify righteous John. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What comfort, peace, and joy, what release from affliction is given to the soul in the name Virgin Mary. For them that with faith invoke thy great mercy, O Bride of God, wherefore we with hearts redeemed from bondage of sorrow Cry to thee with gladness and unbounded thanksgiving. Rejoice, O thou full of grace. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, 
and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O Holy Father John, pray to God for Why us. Why, convicting ungodliness, laying bare the error of every false belief, thou didst reprimand the heretics, but didst pray with tears for their return to God. O Holy Father John, pray to God for Since us. Since the eye of thy soul was pure, thou beheld angels and demons on the earth, and their presence in the lives of men, as the choice and will of each admitted them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Heavy mountains of unbelief fell before the heavenly power of thy prayer. Bitter wolves became the sheep of Christ. They who never thought of God forsook the world. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Ancient strongholds of wickedness fell with sudden ruin like frames of eaten wood at the blow of one small infant's hand, whom thou held in thy arms, O Queen of all. Wherefore hast thou deprived me and cast me the hapless one far from thy countenance? And the outer darkness has enshrouded and cast its gloom over me. Yet now I beseech thee, do thou convert me and direct me to the light of thy precepts, O Lord my God. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. When a false accusation had been made against thee, the writing was blotted out by the Lord of wonders, to make known through a wonder thine innocence. By thy mediations blot out our failings and transgressions as we keep thy remembrance, O righteous John. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. O ye fire-breathing prophets who of old convicted iniquitous Israel, now accept among you as your peer and companion the preacher John, who wholly purges us of carnal pleasures and affections with the soul-cleansing fire of his holiness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To thy Lord thou wast watchful, rising early out of the night for the sake of Christ, when the suffering called thee to light up the dark night of their sore distress. Now thou rightly hearest, well done, thou good and faithful servant, Enter into the joy of thy Lord, O John, both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. With thy motherly boldness turn unto thy Son and implore him for clemency. And, O Theotokos, with thy motherly tenderness look on us, weak with pain and sickness, bowed down with sin and far from virtue, and restore us to life through thy ceaseless care. In treaty do I pour forth unto the Lord, and to him do I proclaim all my sorrows. For many woes fill my heart to replenishing, and lo, my life unto Hades has now drawn nigh. Like Jonah do I pray to thee, raise me up from corruption, O Lord my God. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thy prayer was no mild request, but daring, ardent, exceeding bold. For thou becamest thy prayer, demanding the gift of God, and pulling the hem of Christ, till thou didst be given what thy burning love had sought with faith. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. The piercing light of the truth within thee made sinners quake with fear. Thy warmth of mercy and love compelled and encouraged them, and then at the call of life, gladdened in repentance, they drew near unto the friend of man. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy heart and thy mind were nailed fast unto the love of the Trinity, and completing each day his goodness to sinners, thou in gladness didst cry aloud, Glory, praise, and honour to the Father, Word, and Comforter. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When Hades swallowed the child to whom thou painlessly gavest birth, then he was suddenly seized with pangs as a woman in travail, and he vomited them that he held captives, hands so virgin, we all honour thee. O thou who from infancy was chosen by God, 
and in childhood didst miraculously receive from him the gift of learning, and was gloriously called to the priesthood in a divine vision during sleep. Thou didst prove to be a wonderful shepherd of the Church of Christ, O Father John, namesake of grace. Pray to Christ our God that we all be with thee in the kingdom of the heavens. The Holy Spirit who spoke in the prophets and through the apostles enlightened the whole world, who gave strength to the martyrs and expounded the orthodox faith through the hierarchs, poured out his grace abundantly upon thee, O Father John. For thou didst preach the faith in Christ by word, deed, and thy whole life. Therefore the Lord called thee into his habitations, and now as thou standest before the throne of his glory, pray that all who venerate thee may be with thee in the kingdom of the heavens. Pray that all who venerate thee may be with thee in the kingdom of the heavens. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon. The fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting, By their faith in the Trinity, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. At that table of wonder thou didst stand every day with divine and trembling joy, and bread came down from heaven, filling thee with power, and with love thou didst show to Christ, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. From the springs of the gospel thou didst drink all thy life with abundant faith in Christ, and truly from thy belly streams of living water flowed forth unto those crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Once again, John the preacher cries out now, Repent ye unto the multitudes who loudly make confession, not in a river Jordan, but in tears that cleanse them who cry, O God of our fathers, Blessed are thou, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our strong bastion of mercy, our impregnable hope, and the stronghold of our faith. Rejoice, O Theotokos, defend us from the devil and from all who refuse to cry. O God of our fathers, Blessed are thou. Let us ever extol and praise the Lord God who was seen of old on the holy mountain glory, who by the fiery bush revealed the great mystery of the ever virgin and undefiled maiden unto the prophet Moses. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. As a child thou wast wondrously enlightened when thou soughtest the Lord to grant the gift of learning. And with the earthly knowledge that was given thee, thou didst learn the power hid within sincere prayer, whereby thou wast made mighty. Holy Father John, pray to God for us. Thou didst ask that a spark be sent from heaven, but the infinite fire of God came down upon thee. And as a faithful steward of that fearful grace, thou didst spare no labors, trading with the talent thou worthily wast given. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Near the end of thy sojourn thou wast wounded, that thou shouldst also have the dignity of martyr. For God, who saw thy willingness to bear his cross, granted thee revilements, pains, and tribulations to make thy glory greater. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Overlook our unworthiness, O Lady, and alone have regard to thine own tender mercies. Thou art the mother of him that sends his reign on the just and the unjust, and whose sun arises on both the good and the evil. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made were sore amazed, for God appeared boldly to mankind as very man, 
and lo, thy womb has proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For thee, so Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels, magnify thy name. O Holy Father John, pray to God for us. A cave gave rest to Anton in his toils, and a pillar raised Simeon high above the troubled throng. And thou wast made great in the midst of men, thou daily dashed with waves of praise, thou didst stand unshaken in fear of God. O wonder past believing, renowned and working marvels, in mind thou sought'st mercy like the thief. O holy Father John, pray to God for us. What corner of the world is ignorant of the signs and the wonders that thou dost work for those in need? Is there left a place that has not beheld thy healings and thy miracles and the endless streams of thy grace, O John? Be our protector also, the healer of our sufferings, our intercessor in that fearful day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The prophets and the Gospels, the Father's choirs, the divine several councils, the valiant exploits of the saints, all the sacred history that went before has been confirmed beyond all doubt by thy life in Christ, O amazing priest. The faithful are established, deniers have no answer before the testimony of thy life. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With all the generations that went before, we the latest and weakest, Fulfill thy words of prophecy, as with joy and longing we call thee blessed. Rejoice, O virgin full of grace, with thee is the Lord, and through thee with us. This cry of joy still echo through every generation, till heaven and the earth shall pass away. Thou didst heal every sickness, didst see the secret hidden hearts, didst turn men unto repentance, didst cast out demons Cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, at the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of Saint John the Baptist of the Holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross of the Lord, of all the bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of Saint Ninian and Saint Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Saint Cisoes the Great of Egypt, Saint Brandon the Navigator, Saint Oron of Iona, Saint Columba of Iona, Saint Kenneth, Saint Ronan, Saint Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of our Father among the saints, John of Kronstadt, with the prayers of the Holy Prophet Joel, with the prayers of the Holy Martyr Varus and those with him, with the prayers of the Venerable Father John of Rila, the translation of whose relics we also commemorate this day. With the prayers of St. Espin of Kildare and St. Freitzwald of Oxford. 
With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, you, our Kim, and honor and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. May the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, O God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.